peace be with you. I wanted to come outside to read you a story because lately, because of the rain, I've been hearing frogs singing at nighttime. When there's more water at spring, in spring, frogs tend to sing and you'll hear them. And they're singing to impress their friends. Then you'll hear them at night when it gets dark or in the early morning. So I'm hopeful that it's the sun is setting and we might hear some frogs as I'm reading the story about frogs. And this is one of my favorite stories. It's called Bullfrog Builds a House by Rosamond Dower. And I had this book when I was a little kid. Bullfrog looked and looked until he found a large lake. Frogs live near water. And in the back of my house is a pond, so that's why I can hear them when I go outside. Just right, he said, I will live here. And he set out to build a house, but he wasn't quite sure where to start. As Bullfrog sat on a log to eat his lunch and think, another frog came out of the bushes. And look, it's, they're showing you in these pictures how small these frogs are. Because look at a flower. And who are you? Bullfrog asked. My name is Gertrude, said the other frog. An excellent name, said Bullfrog. Will you share my lunch? Yes, thank you, said Gertrude, and she ate just as much as Bullfrog. Bullfrog was impressed. You have a good appetite, he said. Oh, indeed I have, said Gertrude. Since you have an appetite like mine, said Bullfrog, perhaps you can tell me how to begin my new house. That's easy, said Gertrude. Start with what you like best. A diving board on the front porch, said Bullfrog. I've always wanted to have one. What wonderful ideas you have, said Gertrude. I must start at once, said Bullfrog. And he did. He built a porch in no time at all and started to work on his diving board, but he was soon in trouble. See, he has a wheelbarrow and a saw and a hammer. Those are some tools you would need to build a house. Ah, uh, Gertrude, he said, would you mind standing in the water to balance the board so I can nail it in? Not at all, said Gertrude, and she held up the board for Bullfrog. So when you're building, sometimes you need somebody to steady things while you hold while you hammer the nails in. Because if it moved around, you wouldn't be able to get it in the nail the right way. Very good, said Bullfrog when they were finished. And now he said, I will build the rest of the house. As time went by, Gertrude helped Bullfrog with many things. They put a stove in the kitchen a bathtub in the bathroom, and a table in the living room. Finally, Bullfrog and Gertrude stepped back to admire their work. Wonderful, said Bullfrog, but have I forgotten something? My dear Bullfrog, said Gertrude, it is a beautiful house, but may I suggest a roof? See? The roof is missing. A roof is kind of like a triangle, triangular, so that when the rain falls, it rolls down. Instead of going inside of the house, it protects the house from rain. Here they go. See, it's kind of triangular in shape. Oh, good friend, said Bullfrog, you think of everything. Then Gertrude and Bullfrog put a roof on the house when they were finished, Bullfrog said, Now there is just one more thing, I think.
And what is that? asked Gertrude. A welcome mat, said Bullfrog. That would be nice, Gertrude said. So Bullfrog put out a welcome mat. A welcome mat is where you wipe your feet before you go inside the door and it says the word welcome. Can you see the word there? That was a nice touch. Now, said Bullfrog, I have everything I need. But, said Gertrude, isn't there something else? I don't think so, said Bullfrog. Well, said Gertrude, in that case, I must be leaving. Goodbye, said Bullfrog. Thank you for helping to build my house. You're welcome, said Gertrude. Goodbye, and Gertrude went away. Then Bullfrog looked at his house. He thought about having a good dive off the diving board, but didn't feel like it. He felt a little hungry, but didn't want to fix a hamburger. He went upstairs to look at his new bathtub, but he didn't take a bath. He started to play cards, but couldn't think of a game for just one frog. You think he's feeling kind of lonely? His face is not happy. Looks a little sad. What is the matter? wondered Bullfrog. I must be getting a cold. So Bullfrog wrapped up in a big blanket, but he still didn't feel just right. Suddenly he jumped up. Gertrude, Gertrude, he shouted, and he ran down the road in his blanket until he found Gertrude. What is the matter? asked Gertrude. Oh, well, said Bullfrog, that is, I wondered. I mean, said Bullfrog, and Bullfrog stopped. Oh dear, said Gertrude, do you have a cold? No, said Bullfrog, I just wondered if you would care to play cards. Oh yes, said Gertrude. Good, said Bullfrog. And Gertrude and Bullfrog went back to Bullfrog's house to play cards. Later, Gertrude taught Bullfrog how to play checkers. Oh, said Bullfrog, you are a fine frog. How fortunate I am to have you with me. Of course, said Gertrude, I am happy to be here. Maybe you guys can learn how to play checkers. It's a game with circles and squares. You must stay forever, said Bullfrog. I would like that very much, said Gertrude. Now, how about a game of touch football? Wonderful, cried Bullfrog. And Bullfrog and Gertrude were very happy in their beautiful house from then on. I was hoping to hear the frogs, but I don't hear them yet. So maybe as it gets a little bit darker, I'll stay out here and listen for the frogs and do a separate video. And you guys try to listen at nighttime for the frogs too, singing. Right now I hear the mockingbird again, singing its song. I don't know where it is right now. I think it's on top of my roof. Oops. Let's see if we could see it. No, can't really see it right now. So I'll see you later, guys.